Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. You're watching Disruptive Investing. It's Tesla's pause for attack. So as investors, we are all so hungry for news every minute of every day. What's going on with this company? What's going on with the September delivery numbers, quarterly production numbers? It is so easy to lose the forest for the trees. Case in point, Tesla's third quarter. We haven't even gotten Tesla's third quarter earnings report or SEC filing. We just got production and delivery numbers last week. But what was the story? You saw it everywhere in mainstream corporate media. How about this one from CNBC? Tesla reported 435,059 deliveries, blah, blah, blah. Okay, third bullet point down. Wall Street was expecting Tesla deliveries to reach 461,640 for the period ending September 30th, according to a consensus of analysts polled by Street Account. Or how about this one from Yahoo Finance? Tesla whiffs Q3 deliveries. Or tech crunches. Tesla misses on Q3 delivery expectations. Or auto evolutions. Tesla Q3 2023 production delivery numbers are below expectations despite warnings. We could go on, but you get the picture. Never mind that Tesla has made and sold more battery EVs than any other automaker so far this year. Tesla has a 60% plus US EV market share. Ford and GM barely made 20,000 EVs in Q3. Tesla made 20 times that. Not that it matters why Tesla didn't beat analysts consensus estimates. Because whether Tesla made another 20,000 EVs in the quarter or not, they are winning the race by any metric you choose, okay? Sheer volume of cars produced and sold profit margins, uh, not being stymied by the UAW strike like Ford, GM, and Stellantis are. Tesla is able to continually lower their prices and stay profitable. I mean, just this week, Tesla again lowered the price of the Model Y rear-wheel drive by $4,500. The best-selling car in the world just got cheaper. That should be the headline. We've said it before and we'll say it again. When you drop the price of a car by $5,000, you double the number of people who can now afford it. Did you get that? Tesla just made the Model Y available to twice as many Americans. Actually, it's more like four to six times as many Americans because the Model Y is eligible for the $7,500 federal EV tax incentive. So add $4,500 and $7,500 together and what do you get? $12,000 off. So effectively, with the tax credit, Tesla just quintupled the number of Americans who can now afford it. And when we say the Model Y is the best-selling car in the world, we mean against all other competitors, whether you put gas in them or electricity. Tesla just cemented the Model Y's place on the podium. But why didn't Tesla beat analysts' expectations? Because as Elon told us during the Q2 earnings call, Tesla planned for some downtime during the quarter to upgrade production lines at Giga Texas. Sometimes you have to pause and catch your breath before you can get back out there and pound on your opponent. And as fast as Tesla has been pumping out cars and power walls and mega packs, I think we are going to look back at 2023 and 2024 and say, wow, Tesla was just getting started. Because let's think about this in terms of Giga Shanghai, for example. Tesla started building that factory in December of 2018. And if you remember, as we do, because we report on Tesla every week, as we always do, there was constant pushback and FUD. Tesla is going to have delays in getting Giga Shanghai constructed. And even when it's finished, it's going to have all sorts of labor problems and supply problems and this problem and that problem. But what actually happened? 12 months later, December 2019, Tesla cars started driving out of Giga Shanghai and Tesla has never looked back. Giga Shanghai produced over 700,000 cars last year, more than half of all Teslas produced that year. Tesla has guided for building 1.8 million Teslas this year. So far, year to date, Tesla has delivered 1.3 million vehicles globally. That means that Tesla needs to deliver around 476,000 vehicles in Q4 to meet their goal of 1.8 million. Well, they just delivered 435,000 in Q3, and that was with some planned line shutdown. So I think it's completely possible for Tesla to achieve 1.8 million cars this year. 1.8 million Teslas in 2023, when Ford and GM combined will be lucky if they can deliver one-tenth this number combined. And I haven't even gotten to Cybertruck. With 2 million Cybertruck reservations, Tesla is in the enviable position that they are going to sell every Cybertruck they can make for the foreseeable future. I predict that Cybertruck will become the best-selling truck of all time. Think about that for a second. Because what does Ford have left in its arsenal? The Ford F-Series pickup truck. I mean, you might say it's their biggest strength, but that's the only thing keeping Ford afloat. If Tesla takes even a slice of that away from Ford, they're dead. And I haven't even mentioned Tesla's semi-truck. Again, I might get some pushback here. Some people might say, Zach, they've only made like 70 semis. 
That's right. That's because Tesla is pausing for the attack. They built enough semis to use them themselves in their own fleet and to test them out in Pepsi's fleet, collect data, get feedback, find out exactly what fleets and truck drivers want before tweaking the design and then going into full-scale production. As we reported on Tesla Time News this week, Tesla is starting to hire people that they need to ramp up Tesla semi production, and they are going to start building out one of the production areas at Giga Nevada. When the bell rings and Tesla jumps back into the ring, they are going to crush the competition in the Class 8 truck market. But where's Tesla going to get all the batteries to do this? Don't those semi trucks use a lot of batteries? Great question. Answer vertical integration. As we reported again this week on Tesla Time News, Tesla is speeding up the construction of their Corpus Christi, Texas lithium refinery plant, the only auto company we know of refining their own lithium, which Elon says is the limiting factor for making EVs. Now, I don't know if you just saw the video that came out last week on Jay Leno's garage of Jay Leno driving the Tesla semi and interviewing Franz von Holzhausen and Dan Priestley, which is Tesla's senior semi truck designer. But one thing that came out of that interview is fuel savings that Tesla semis will offer. Let's do some simple math. The average class eight semi tractor trailer truck has a 150 gallon gas tank. The average diesel semi gets 6.5 miles per gallon fully loaded. The average price of diesel fuel right now in the U.S. is $4.36 per gallon. Okay, so that's 975 miles on a tank of diesel, and that tank of diesel costs $654. We now have data from the North American Council for Freight Efficiency, which has been collecting data. So according to this actual Tesla semi data, it looks like they charged up 160% to go 1,076 miles, 100 miles more than our diesel on a full tank. The battery is about 900 kilowatt hours, so that's 1,440 kilowatt hours of electricity to go about the same distance. And I'm being extra kind here to the diesels. So 1,440 kilowatt hours times about eight cents per kilowatt hour. Remember, industrial electricity rates are a lot cheaper than residential rates. And you get $115.20 to fill up the Tesla Semi with the electrons needed. That's 82% cheaper to fuel it than the diesel. Run a truck for five days a week for 50 weeks a year, and that's $163,500 a year in diesel or $28,800 in electricity. In just two years, you've saved $269,400 in fuel. That's enough to buy another truck. And that is just fuel savings. That is not to mention maintenance. Look, if you made it this far, then you see where we're going with this. Tesla Energy, which is the grid scale battery storage, the solar roof, the VPPs and auto bidder. Tesla as a power utility in markets around the world. Tesla insurance. Nobody talks about it, but it's a $700 billion industry worldwide today. And who is disrupting it more than Tesla? No, really comment below if you can credibly tell me a company that's disrupting auto insurance more than Tesla. I want to hear about it. Tesla bot is going to very soon disrupt Oh, I don't know, human labor in factories and then outside of factories in brick and mortar businesses and then in homes like yours around the world. Giga Mexico is going to start construction soon and more Giga factory locations will be announced soon. The machines that make the machines. The machines that will run on the Tesla network, the robo taxis, which is going to disrupt transportation like nothing we've ever seen before. Now, disclaimer, we're not financial advisors. Don't take our advice on buying stocks or selling stocks. But look, my opinion, Tesla is going to dwarf the value of every other company. So investors, take advantage of this pause. You may never get a better chance. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want even more, join us over on Patreon. The link is down below and you can join us at the Investor Club level. You will not only get access to even more content every week in the Investor Club bonus stories, but you will also get access to our Slack. This is where all of our Investor Club members get to be on a single place where we all get to talk to each other in an organized fashion. And so you, you're not stuck with all of the tech bros. You're not stuck with all of the people who don't think that Tesla will succeed. You're not defending your position as much as you are able to communicate and learn and, and learn and challenge each other's positions in an educated way as opposed to just having a whole bunch of people tell you no tesla won't succeed because i watch cnbc that's a really good point point. and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything and please hit that like button it really helps us out we'll see you next week